Hello children. Today we are going to learn a new topic in social studies. Before I start the lesson, let me ask you a few questions. Who treats us when we are sick? Who teaches in the school? Who grow crops for us? Yes, it is a farmer, teacher and a doctor. These are the people who help us in our day-to-day -day life. So children, today our topic is about people who help us. We need the help of others in our day-to-day -day life. Let us see who are these people who help us. The first person is the soldier. Soldiers are the people who serve in an army. They lead a unique military lifestyle. Children, unique means belonging or connected with one particular thing, place or person. Soldiers are given a task to maintain the physical fitness through various training program. They protect us from our enemies and also maintain the territorial integrity of our country. They even sacrifice their life to protect us from our enemies. The next person is the farmer. Farming is the most important occupation of our country. A large number of people do farming in the villages of our country. Farmer grows different kinds of food grains, vegetables, fruits, cotton, jute, tea, groundnut, etc. For this, he needs fertile land, fertilizers, large quantity of water for irrigation of crops. The kind of crops grown depend upon the climate and the soil. So, farmer help us in producing the food. The next person is the fireman. Fireman works at a fire station. When a building or a house caught with fire, we call up to a fire station. The fire brigades come in a red van called fire engine. They carry along with them long pipes and ladders. These ladders are used to climb tall building which help them to rescue people who are caught in fire. They put out the fire with water using the long pipes. So children, in case of any fire accidents, you can call to a fire station by dialing 101. So children, today we have learnt about how a farmer, soldier and the fireman help us. So please read lesson number 5, People Who Help Us for Better Understanding. Thank you.